Hey guys, we'll be starting here shortly. Um, tonight I'll be going over, oh, thank you. Um, we're gonna be going over how to make the Drunk Uno set and any questions and answers for you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys a minute to pop on, um, other people to pop on. Um, and I'm also gonna let you guys know that all of these videos that I do for lives um, are going to be screen recorded and then put on YouTube. And my link for the YouTube channel is in my bio. So if for some reason you can't stay on and you wanna be able to catch up and uh, rewatch anything that I post, it'll be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> we are going to be doing a giveaway during this video today. I'm going to give away <clears throat> one digital file of the Drunk Uno so somebody can make this set and start making money on their own. Hey, hey. So let's see what time it is. All right. We will start here in just a second. Hey, Miser Pleaser. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. If people pop on as we go, we can backtrack. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the little comments here. I am screen recording, so this will get uploaded onto YouTube after we're done. So what we're gonna talk about today is the digital file for Drunk Uno that I put on Etsy for everybody. Um, here's what my kit looks like. I, I get a small little container. Here is the lid for it. Um, within the digital file, I have different um, variations of this cover. So the different variations change. Um, this is a beer mug. Um, the other ones I have um, champagne glasses, so you could use it for like a New Year's gift. Um, I have one that says class of 2020 and you can change it for the year so it could be a graduation gift. Um, I think there are couple different ones too so uh, I think there's like three or four of them so those are in there too so you can make this for different occasions um, then we have the drinking game instruction card we'll go over that the shot glasses themselves where you can find them um, and how many need to go into a set and we'll go through the whole process so the first thing that I like to do, okay, the first thing I like to do is get my instruction cards printed and the box label printed. These are actually printed from my printer. Um, the box cover, I actually print that so it would be a print and cut. Um, this is for Cricut Design Space. Um, I do not know any terms or lingo or how to use um, Cameo or their design space or what whatever they use. So this is strictly for um, Cricut design space. So what I do is I take my image and I make it a print and cut. And what I do is print and cut it on sticker paper. Um, this is where, this is the kind I use. I don't know if you can see that. I get this off Amazon. I got like a thousand sheets for under 10 bucks. It was super cheap. Um, I really like it. It is matte though. Um, so it does not have a waterproof finished, but we'll get into that and how I waterproof it. As you can see here, this is waterproofed and it's shiny. We'll get into that. Um, so that's the first thing I do. I print and cut these. Um, and then I 
do my actual drinking game instruction cards as well, I print those. So this is printed on cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker um, and not so flimsy, just like regular paper. So once you get those printed, we go on to the next step. Um, I like to have those two things done right when I start because they take the longest to actually get finished. Um, so let's take these, the box cover. So this is what it looks like when you only use the sticker paper. Um, I, I hope you can tell, but it's very matte. Um, it doesn't have a nice shine to it. It is not waterproofed. So what we do is once we have this sheet of paper printed out with both of our logos on it, I think you can get about two on there. Oh, you're getting a loading. It's just loading. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I hope it's nothing I'm doing wrong. Um, I had some other people on. Oh, okay, I see what could be happening. I'm gonna take my Wi-Fi off. Are you guys there? I hope everybody can see this. We have a storm coming in right now. So that might've been affecting my Wi-Fi. <clears throat> okay, regardless, if you guys miss any of this, it's gonna be uploaded on my YouTube. It is going to be in my bio. The link is in my bio, so you guys can go click on that if you miss anything. I'm screen, re screen recording this whole thing, so it'll be all there for you. Um, I apologize if anybody's having trouble loading or if it's being a pain. So technology can suck sometimes, so I'm sorry. So back to the sticker paper. This is what I use. I have it printed off in the printer. It'll look kind of matte, but I don't cut it yet. What I do is I take a piece of laminate. Um, I have these laminate pouches. I take only half of it. So I cut the pouch in half and only cover the front half and run it through my laminator. So it'll look just like this, but not on the back side. So it'll make it waterproof. And then they come out like this. That makes sense. So once I have the, the laminate on the sticker paper, I've written it through the laminator, um, it's on there good, then I run it through the Cricut machine to cut out the outline and then it turns out like this. Um, I did see a tip on um, TikTok to use a spray, like Rust-Oleum spray. I ordered it, so I'm gonna try it hopefully this week when it comes in to see if it'll save me some time. I could just spray the paper to make it waterproof rather than using the laminate sheets. So if that works, I'm gonna let you guys know. Still just loading. Hmm. I'm gonna end the live and get back on. Okay. I ended the live originally and hopefully more people can get back in here. If you're here, can you guys let me know you're seeing this and that you're able to live, like see it live. Um, my last video, I think because there's a storm coming in, my Wi-Fi kind of messed up. Hey, hey, super bummed. Well, I'm gonna keep going. I hope you guys will check out. Awesome, you can see this. Okay, I think we're good to go. So if you've missed anything up until now um, because of the video not loading, um, this is gonna be on my YouTube channel. 
Um, the link is in my bio. I'm screen recording this whole, whole tutorial and you guys will be able to go back and see it there. Um, again, I apologize for any confusion or mistakes or anything that this caused because it's just a pain in the butt. Okay, so we have our um, sticker paper. You go ahead and print out your Drunk Uno stuff. You laminate it and now you're good to go. So you're laminated and then once it's cut out, then you, it'll be laminated. You put it on your box. Next step is, eh, running out of space, is to, okay, yay. Janelle, you can see me. I'm so sorry. I think what happened is my Wi-Fi cut out because there's a storm coming in. Um, and I think it just kicked me out. So we are good to go now. Um, if you guys missed anything up until this point, I am screen recording this whole tutorial and it'll be on my YouTube channel and the link is in my bio. Okay, the next part that we are on is the drinking card instructions. If you want, you can resize these to whatever size you wanna use them. Um, this is just the size I use. I do the print and cut option in design space. I print it through my printer on cardstock and then I laminate it in a full pocket sheet. Um, of lamination paper. This is what I use. Um, they're pockets, so you just stick it in there and um, run it through the laminator. So then after I have laminated this and this is all good to go, you need to let it sit for a second. It needs to cool because it's the lamination makes it hot. So then you run it through your Cricut to cut it out um, and then you'll end up with cards like this. Hey. Oh, thank you so much for watching my TikToks. Um, funny story is I started doing TikTok back when it was musically, just like messing around and all my friends made fun of me. They're like, oh, you're too old to be doing that. Um, but I just had a feeling like this platform was is made and it can do so much more than just be little kids dancing around on music videos. You can really utilize this platform for so much more. And I think that me being able to reach out to you guys live and be able to answer questions in real time, that's amazing. And like not all of us are on Facebook or whatever. So this was just one platform I knew I could reach a lot of people and be able to help a lot of people um, in one single space. Okay, so right here... Okay, so after you cut the drinking cards out, here's what they look like. They're laminated. And I wanted to tell you why I chose to do the lamination pockets, get a laminator and um, a laminator, and then cut them through my Cricut. I'm sorry if I try to read the messages as we go. Yeah, so a lot of people don't have Facebook. I, I have Facebook, but I don't use like Instagram or Twitter. Um, I have both of them, but I'm just not swift on them, I guess. But I love my TikTok, so you got that. So I will show you my first um, Drunk Uno card that I made and the total difference um, and upgrade of what I've done over the last couple of weeks of how I make it better. So originally, I purchased self-laminating sheets, which are just like the pockets, but you push, the, push it on yourself. Um, kind of like when you use your transfer tape, you just put it over your image that you're going to be placing. Well, this was just going to be over my cards and then you cut around it. So instead of doing that, oh, this is what it looked like. Oh, I had to redo it. So it's okay? Yeah, it's okay now. Uh, I think our Wi-Fi went out. My boyfriend's my biggest hype man. And he's making sure that my videos do good and that you guys can see everything. So he just popped in. So this was my very first one that I did. Um, do you see this? It looked like crap. I didn't use my die cutting machine. I didn't, uh, I actually used it. I cut it out first um, and then laminated it. And I hated it. It, it doesn't look clean. It looks not professional. And it's just, I didn't like it. So now here's a difference. Um, here was my first one and I kept my first one just to like be able to have a reference of like how far I've come, like this is what it was, this is what I want. Boom, we're good to go. 
All right. So then the next thing there is are the labels to go on the Uno shot glasses. So I I, I believe they're just one color in um, the SVG files. But all you have to do if you want to make them a different color is just use different colored vinyl when you're cutting them. So just for example, here's what my yellow ones look like. I put a bunch in a row across so I can get as many as I can out of a little strip. And then I just weed them and cut them or weed them and um, weed them out. And then I put them on one by one. I use transfer tape to put these on and you're good to go. And we, I'll show you the shot glasses here. This is what they look like. All right, so four go in a set. And what I do is if anybody wants additional shot glasses, um, I tell them the set is $25 and that includes four shot glasses, the game, the drinking instructions, um, the carrying case, and if they want any more shot glasses, it's a dollar per shot glass. Um, just to make an extra buck or two, some people need a little more if they're gonna have a, a more friends play. You never know, but it's been a hit. I've sold a maybe like 20 extra shot glasses. People have asked for them here and there. Um, but here they are. I do yellow. Um, this is blue. Green. And red. And like I said, here's the carrying case. You can use any plastic container you want. Um, I just try to keep them small. Um, I just think about like if you have board games or anything at home, like you don't like the big bulky ones. You want something that's going to be able to be small, compact, and be able to put it away easily. Um, one thing I do not like, I don't like the look of um, the school pencil boxes. I'm not a fan of that. So... Stay away from those. Find like containers, storage containers, because they just look a little cleaner. Um, I use this color. I just thought it looked good when it with the label on it. It just popped with the color. So I use the blue and the clear ones. Um, once I'm all done, I stick everything in the actual container. Um, I put tissue paper at the bottom so the shot glasses don't break. Um, and then I go in, I take my poly bag, my poly mailer, I put the actual game in here. I put my sticker on here. The invoice is on here. Um, and then I do group group drop-offs on Fridays. Okay. Um, and that means I meet in a specific spot in my area and then, like, do pickups. I let people meet me. Um, if people pay ahead of time, I'm really flexible with that, and I will go do drop-offs. Um, and I kind of map my way around and uh, do drop-offs that way. Okay, does anybody have any questions? I hope this is, like, reading right. I hope it didn't kick me off again. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if anybody's there, and I don't know if this kicked me off. So I'm going to answer questions that I got continuously. Okay, you're still there. Okay, so where do I get my shot glasses? These are from Dollar Tree. I get three for a dollar. And, okay, thank you guys. <laughs> you never know if this stuff goes down or not. Um, so I get the shot glasses from Dollar Tree three for a dollar and the I'll tell you the sales associates don't know where they're at um if you ask them for shot glasses they're going to take you over to the plastic wear and give you like the little red solo cup looking ones that's not what you want you want these these are called dessert glasses and they're over by like the actual like plates the glass plates the glass cups and stuff like that they're over there so here's what they are I hope that helps. Um, that's where I get my shot glasses. I get my storage containers from Dollar Tree. 
So honestly, all my stuff costs three to five dollars to make. Um, and then I sell it for 25. So the storage container, this from Dollar Tree, my sticker paper that I use for the actual box label. This is off Amazon. Um, the brand is Bet Betkey. So it's B-E-T-C-K-E-Y premium labels. It's a full sheet sticker paper or they call it label paper. Um, I got, I think a thousand sheets under 10 bucks. Super cheap. Um, I like the quality of it. Um, I wish I could find glossy paper already, but I think with um, an inkjet, um, oh, I'm so happy you're excited to make it. With an inkjet printer, um, it doesn't go on to glossy paper well, and that's what I have is an inkjet printer. Um, the Uno cards, that I got a lot of questions on where I get my Uno cards from. So I... If I have to, I'll get them from Walmart. And I think they're like three something a pack there. So that kind of is expensive and it eats into your, you know, cost. But with this being three something, your shot glasses being a little over a dollar, um, and then your container being a dollar, that's about three, four, five. I think it's like five twenty-five altogether. Cost of making it if you're using the ones from Walmart. So what I recommend is finding people that are selling Uno cards on Amazon, message them directly, ask them if you can get a discount if you ordered larger quantities. Um, I'm able to get them for like 75 cents now. So um, I mean, I, it's not the same supplier each time I have to message different people because they run out or they don't have any, or they won't let me have all of theirs. So you have to message them and ask them if they will give you price breaks. Hope that answers some questions. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to make these. Um, my next little snippet of what I'll talk about um, is how to put it on Marketplace. So if you guys wanna hang in there with me. <clears throat> I hope that answered any questions you guys have for making it. Oh, I will tell you one thing. So the file that you have for the drinking game card is going to be an SVG. It's going to have everything individual. You can see everything individual. Um, and I see a lot of people struggling with, do you attach it? Do you flatten it? Uh, like just design space doesn't make it easy on just like saying, hey, this is my image. I know there's words there, but I want you to just cut around it. They make it kind of hard. So what I suggest, um, this is like my easy, quick way around it is get everything the size that you want. Um, get it in the place that where you want it and then remove the grid lines in um, design space and screenshot it and then just re-enter this as um, a, your screenshot. And then when you're in there, you know how you can remove the background or tell um, design space what you wanna show or what you want to remove. Only remove the outer portion, don't remove the inner portion and then save it as a print and cut image. I hope that helps. Um, that saved me a lot. I still don't understand the whole attach attach seems like it does the same thing as group that's confusing and then flatten i i just i can't really get with those two um tools in there so that was just my easy way to get around it i hope that helps um, again i'm going to be posting this on youtube for you guys so you guys can see this later and go through it um, okay, so now on to, okay, so my shot glasses are from Dollar Tree. Um, it comes three, where did I just put it? Three for a dollar, and they're called dessert glasses. I hope that helps. Um, so let's get into marketing this on whatever platform you want to use but for me what has really worked is 
Facebook Marketplace. Um, there's an app called Virage Sale. That's I've gotten a few sales from that here and there, but Virage Sale um, really breaks their items down into too specific of a category for me. So like your your game set might not get seen. So what I do is put it on Marketplace. I I list it on a Sunday. So I list it on a Sunday. Um, I list it and it says Drunk Uno game set. Here, let me just find an old listing and I'll show you. Mm. Marketplace, my stuff, your listings. Oh, wait, wait. So this is my Drunk Uno game set listing. Um, by all means, I'm not a professional and I do not think that I'm like the greatest at anything. Um, but I just think that having a clear picture that focuses on like, like this main one she focuses on the drinking game instructions. I just think it looks clean. Um, and there's more pictures. Like this show really shows the shot glasses. And then just another view. I just thought it looked really good. So the listing, it just says Drunk Uno Game Set. Set includes the following. I make sure I list what's in there. Um, as includes the following. A deck of Uno cards, a four branded shot glasses, which are the Drunk or the Uno shot glasses. Drinking game instructions. Boom. A carrying case, um, which is my blue container that I showed you guys here. Um, and if I am running low of one color or another, I will put in my description, carrying case may vary. Um, and then I also list additional shot glasses are available for $1 each, $25 per set, drop-offs every Friday near, the, and then I enter the location. Um, and then I, if you're selling as your brand or as your company, um, in the description, I don't know if you guys can see this, there is a section where it says um, the condition, you put new and brand. I put my company name in there. Does that make sense? So my name gets seen. Um, and then they know that like, this, isn't, this isn't something that they can go get in the stores. Let me read the comments. How long does it take me to make a set? Um, so it can go really fast if I do all of these first. If I do my drinking card instructions and the labels, if I get all those done and I do a multiple of them at a time, um, it can go pretty fast. I mean, I usually, I chalk up a whole day to get all my things done. Thursdays are my days to actually make things. Um, but let me backtrack. So I, I list the listing on Sundays. So I list it Sunday with the description that I gave you. And then I let it run Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we get all these people inquiring. Um, I never put that it's pending. Um, and then if they ask me how many I have available, I, um, I tell them that these are custom made and that they just need to let me know how many they need. Um, and then, so I get all the orders and then I stop taking orders on Wednesday. Um, if a few trickle in, that's okay, but you're going to get your most interaction in the first day or two that you post it because, um, it's at the top of the list on marketplace. So, um, by Wednesday is really when it's trickling off. And then I send out invoices on Wednesday and Thursday just saying, okay, here's what I have for you. This is a confirmation saying I'm making this game for you. I have it ready and I will be meeting you on this day at this time. Um, and then I try to say, um, do you want to prepay so I can do a porch drop off so you don't have to worry about meeting me in case people are working um, 
or have things going on because I meet at a, a very I meet very early on Fridays um, between nine and ten in the morning just so I can get my day going and then be able to map out the rest of my day. I hope that helps. Um, so once I get all of my orders on Wednesday and I send out the invoices on Thursday and then I start I use Thursday to make all my orders um, and go get any extra shot glasses or anything that I need I do everything Thursday and then on Friday I mark everything pending and then I take everything down or at mark as sold on Saturday and then I make a new listing on Sunday and I do that every week just a big circle I do that every week um let me see what other Oh, here are my tags that I use to get it seen, my hashtags. Um, I use custom made, drunk uno, shots, 21 and older, adult fun, drinking game, summer fun. I'm sure it would do really well if you use the hashtags drunk uno, uno game, uh, uno, uno drinking game. Just about anything that you can think of. The more the better. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any of those. Um, but yeah, then I put it on marketplace and I just let that run Sunday through Wednesday, do them all on Thursday, ship them out on Friday, um, take it down on Saturday and redo it on Sunday. I hope that helps. Um, the only other thing that I would suggest, um, I had these on Etsy, like the actual full sets, um, and I just, I didn't get a lot of interaction because I feel like it's hard to sell a lot of things on Etsy. And this in particular, like, clearly it's not a very expensive product. It's $25. Um, nothing is crazy expensive to make it. But between the cost, $25 to sell it, and then uh, there's going to be shipping. So between $5 to $7 for shipping that's i mean over 30 something dollars for uh, a a small game it gets expensive and i don't feel like i got the attention for it that i do on marketplace so i took it off of my etsy um, and just have the digital files for it on there now so you guys can be able to make it too um that has just worked better for me um and i get more interaction off a of marketplace i've used virage sale um i just didn't get as big of a response um you may be able to use offer up I, there's a lot of other like marketplaces where you could sell um but i feel like if you use marketplace you're gonna get seen quicker it's gonna have a lot of looks it's gonna have a lot of interaction um and then i would suggest joining all groups in your community um, of like, um, okay, so I live in Peoria, Illinois. So I, I joined the Peoria, Illinois garage sale site. I did anything for sale in Peoria. I did central Illinois, anything for sale. I did all the surrounding towns around me. Um, I did, oh, what other ones? You know, I just did all the groups that I could find that are, um, you know, like little groups of selling stuff in this area. And when I list it on Marketplace, I list it in all those groups too. Oh, I'm, a, I'm glad it's a hit in your town too. Like, um, honestly, I think we're in a time that activities are going to be a hit with um, COVID and it being uncertain if we can be in big groups or be able to go out in public and, you know, be at bars or socializing or, um, you know, doing the normal things. People are wanting to have things to do at home just in case, <clears throat> like if we go on lockdown again. Um, I don't know where everybody is in the United States. Um, but here in Illinois, masks are required. We aren't on lockdown. We can freely go from restaurants or whatnot, but things are still closed. Movie theaters aren't open. Um, a lot of the bars are just limited seating, so you can't really go out in a big group. So you need things to do, and I think being at home and having things to do have been um, 
a little bit of a calming factor for people knowing that they can maybe have a few friends over or hang out with a family and have something to do um, and have a little bit of normalcy during this time. I really wanted to share this with you guys because <clears throat> I don't know if you guys watched one of my previous videos um, a little bit about me. I personally was not affected with my income or losing my job from the, this quarantine and COVID, um, but I know a lot of people were, um, and it was uncertain if I was going to or not. And that's kind of why I delved into this, is I didn't know what was going to be going on. I didn't know if we were going to lose our jobs or if my income was going to be affected. So I just started this to see how it was going to go. And I'm in a couple of the Facebook groups for beginner crickets. And people don't want to share their information. They don't want to share you how to make something or um, what's selling for them. They may like say, oh, I really like making this or, oh, you should try doing this. But they don't give you like the steps and instructions to be successful they're very vague about it and I'm not a fan. I want to be able to help you guys and share this with you um, and help you guys make money because it's been a big seller for me. Guys, you got to be quiet. I have two little dogs and they want to be in here so bad. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you guys. If you guys have any more questions, you guys can message me. I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel um, and um, so every, every live video that I'm going to do, um, so today I did the drunk Uno. So I think in a couple of days, I'm going to do a cup, a Starbucks cup. Um, and then the file will be on my Etsy. So every time I do a project, I'll make sure that anything that I'm doing is easily and readily available for you guys to use as well. Um, that way, if you like what I'm doing, you can go grab it easily and start working on it. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, message me. I'm going to link this to my YouTube channel. Um, and if you guys want different tutorials on things, please let me know. All right. Thank you guys. Oh, wait. So my YouTube channel. Oh, my boyfriend helping me out here. I forgot to tell you. I, I don't know what the, my YouTube channel is Creative Trend Co. Um, Cause that's our business name, but I don't know the exact URL, but it is linked in my bio. So you can just click on it up there. Oh, from Hawaii. Oh, I, the, the set's going to be great for you guys. My boyfriend is the biggest hype man. Um, so I am giving away a Drunk Uno set. So I am giving away a Drunk Uno set to, I don't even know how to say the name. Um, it's username Camry0329. I'll message her or him and they will get the Drunk Uno set for free if they haven't already gotten it. Um, if not, I will work with them to see if they would like a different file. Um, but every um, tutorial or giveaway that we do or video that we do, we're going to do a giveaway. So next week or next time, I think I'm going to try to do it on Wednesday. Um, we're going to do a Starbucks cup. If I can find Starbucks cups. It's crazy right now. Every Starbucks in Peoria and the surrounding area does not have the reusable tumblers. So it'll be based on what we have. Unless I can use my color changing cups that I have that are off brand, not Starbucks, but we can still use them. So username Camari, C-A-M-I-R-I-0329 is going to get a free digital download of the Drunk Uno. And if she already has the Drunk Uno, then we will work with her to get something else. But thank you guys so much for following me. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to share more tutorials and help you guys with more of the hot sellers that we have. So if you guys have any questions, message me. This is going to be linked to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.